Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. Good morning. Thought I'd come out here this morning and before I order that bolt, it's called a <laughs> golf cart crankshaft centrifugal clutch removal bolt. So it's a big bolt, really thick, and it's only threaded on the top part so that when you put it in, the shaft that's not threaded goes inside and touches the uh, crankshaft hole. And then the threads, the big threads, grip onto the clutch. And as you turn it or impact it, right, it pulls the clutch off the crankshaft. So that's like $15. But before I go and invest $15 in it, I wanted to come out here Put the original bolt on, just a couple of threads, right, so that it leaves about an inch of slack. Put it on its head, and I'll just take a chisel and a sledgehammer and did what I did by getting the other pulley off that Honda engine, and just keep banging it, rotate it, banging it, rotate it, banging it, rotate it. So I did that for a while, uh, it sitting vertically on top of the bolt. I had to kind of like balance it so that the entire weight of the engine was uh, on the bolt, which had an inch of slack so that the clutch was off the ground and, you know, kind of floating, if you will. And then you just bang. The only strong part of this clutch is the, is this metal pulley here, right? And then it wouldn't work. It wouldn't even budge at all. So I was spraying penetrating oil in it, penetrating oil in it all day. It's been soaking for like two days. And uh, I finally decided I'm just going to put it on its side. And I've been banging it and banging it, you know, just like this. Bang, 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 rotating, bang, bang, bang. And I think I got it. Hope you guys can see. So I think I got it out. I just, I stopped what I was doing and grabbed the camera because I wanted you guys to see. So it looks like it's come down an inch or less. So it looks like I'm going to be able to get this clutch off. That's awesome. <laughs> Without spending the money on the bolt. Removal tool. So I've got you over here. And I was just doing this. That it's off. You guys can see that. There we go. So this acts like a dent puller. You know what I mean? There we go. Look, see? I'm going to remove this bolt, and I think I got it off. Hey! Look at that! There's the clutch! Came off! How awesome is that? And I didn't damage it. You can see all the marks here, though. The chisel marks but this is the strongest part of the clutch you know what I mean this pulley here so I'm stoked man I didn't think I was gonna ever get this off seriously well looking at it though this looks a lot thicker in diameter you know the crankshaft looks a lot thicker than the uh, Honda one so uh, after all this I don't know I mean, I'd have to buy like a really, I'd have to buy a really big adapter to fit, you know? So I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. Now, there's a little piece of it right there getting the uh, clutch off though. So that's my vantage point right there. If you take a look at this, um, crankshaft it's tapered it's thinner here and it goes fatter there you know and it's a lot wider and that a lot wider and this is not tapered so that would be one hell of an adapter I'd have to make for that. 
plus get the bolt that fits this crankshaft thread. I got you on top of a Honda. And here's the clutch. It's way bigger. Oh, actually, actually, you know what? It fits on there. You know what I'm saying? How's that fit on there? It fits on there. I figured if I got a bolt long enough to go through there, oh, because you know what? Because this is also tapered on the inside, it goes from big opening to small opening, right? When it gets to this diameter of the crankshaft, it will stop, but it does leave a lot of room there. So I would need to find a bolt that's long enough to go in there and it fits this thread and that compensates for this amount of space. I'd have to measure and see. To add to my problems, I just measured the width of the two mounting bolts on the side and they're four and a quarter inch apart. Okay. This engine is three inches apart. <laughs> so this is too narrow. I'd have to drill new bolts, uh, new holes onto the golf cart for this engine to even fit. Unless I leave the engine on here and cut around it and use the white plate here and mount this plate onto the golf cart. That would probably be it because this already has bolt, uh, holes bolted on here. You know what I mean? You could use this metal plate here and fabricate around it to, to make this, the metal, bolt the metal part plate to fit the golf cart. But uh, first things first, I need to find a bolt that would fit through there that has the same threads as here that's long enough. I'd have to do some research and figure out what the thread count is on this, the size of the bolt, then go to like Home Depot or something and buy one because I definitely do not have a bolt that's long enough with these threads. Plus I might have to look into an adapter too, you know, a sleeve that's tapered that goes on here that would fit match that better. A lot to think about. So after sitting here for a while, realizing it, um, so it's about two and a half inches that this goes in, all right? And I figured out that this actually goes all the way in. There, that's the end right there. But there's a little bit of play in there. So I think a sleeve that would take up that space would prevent the moving, you know what I mean? Um, but it is in there. And I think if I just got the right bolt with the right thread, I'd be able to secure this onto here, you know? But the movement at those high speeds and revolutions. And also, um, this clutch is not keyed. There's no key in here because it's tapered. It has a very tight seal once you have the uh, crankshaft bolt torqued on there. Because it's tapered, it won't really move, you know? Um, I mean, look, you saw how hard it was to get it off, so it's not going to move, you know what I mean? So, but, but this is not tapered, so that's why this is keyed, you know? There's a key to it. I'll show you the keyway. There, see? As you can see, that's keyed. So, that's why it's not tapered. If this was tapered, it may not have a key, but because it's a key, it's not tapered. We have to get this non-tapered crankshaft into a tapered shaft uh, for the clutch. So I'd have to do some research and figure out exactly what bolt I need for this Honda. Long enough to accommodate this one. Figured out that this crankshaft for the Honda is about an inch, I think, right? And I think the crankshaft for the Rob Wisconsin Robin engine is one and one eighth. 
one and a smidgen how's that but you see there's there's some movement there so i need to find some kind of sleeve or adapter that goes from one inch to one and one eighth to fill that gap and then the bolt with the right thread to secure this clutch onto this engine and then we have the mounting issues then the modifications to the pedal the throttle uh, starter you know what I mean so it's a it's a lot you know but it's interesting and I'm really happy I made this progress up to here you know what I mean I didn't think I was gonna get this uh, clutch off at all you know but just some elbow grease and penetrating oil to get it off is great so that's my update on the golf cart project um, being able to remove the Centrifugal clutch off of this Wisconsin Robin Fuji Subaru engine uh, And getting it off was you know quite a feat without using the $15 tool that I was about to buy um, So now I have some research to do on the thread count length of the bolt um, look into some one inch to one and one eighth adapters to fill the the space between uh, what's needed because this crankshaft width is like one and one eighth tapered to a one inch non-tapered keyed crankshaft so that kind of uh, adapting is going to be difficult to find so the right calculations and research on exactly what thread count that engine is for the bolt to getting that um clutch solidly on there without any movement you know that's a task for sure. And then to try to figure out how to mount that engine on the golf cart is another thing, you know. And of course, adapting the existing muffler on the golf cart to fit the opening for the exhaust port of the Honda. Then to figure out the starter generator, if that's going to work with this, right. Then figure out the pedal throttle lever to control the throttle on that hand manual throttle lever on the Honda but we're getting there because we know this engine runs well we now have a centrifugal clutch on there if I could just mount it properly on there it ought to work but we'll see a long-term project obviously on this golf cart uh, I do want to get it out of my driveway but even if I did it wouldn't fit in the backyard would I have a golf cart in my garage forever? I already have the Blue Bayou in here, you know what I mean? Now I got the 6160 turn sitting in here for uh, fall leaf, fall cleanups, you know? I guess I might have to just leave the golf cart, golf cart out there for <laughs> as long as I have it, I guess. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot for today's clutch removal update. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Mr. Tecumseh here, and we'll see you next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video, and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.